And one of the guys who knew a bit about that area, Pole, funny enough, he said there's a Hoor house in Stettin, and it's housed by girls who are there because their parents wouldn't con uh, kowtow to the Germans. And so they hate the Germans. And if you can get in there, the chances are they'll be able to hide you. So anyway, we eventually found it about four o'clock in the morning. God, it was cold. And we'd been four or five days without food, just eating the chocolate bars. And uh, I saw the light and I said, Michael, I said, I bet you that's a hoor house. Why would anybody have a light on at this time of night? So he said, what are we doing? I said, I'll go in first. If I remember my buildings, it'll be a standard building where you walk right to the back and the stairway goes up this way and there's a lounge on this side or a bar or something and a lounge for the girls on the other. And I said, just walk straight through and do not turn your head, just keep on walking. So I walked in, it wasn't challenged. But in the corner of my eye, I could see there was a bartender and one man at the bar. And I thought, let's be escaped. I got halfway up the stairs and I heard, HALT! Michael came in and he told me, I said, I couldn't resist. He said, I had to take a look. <laughs> and oh, I was lucky. And the guy came around and, recorded, and I, he said, HALT to me. And I was going up the stairs and he cocked his, his pistol. I came to a halt. And he was an SS guy, but he was wearing a Gestapo badge, and oh, I said, I got shit coming out of my ears now. So anyhow, he took us back into the bar, and he turned out to be not a bad guy. He, he said to, in German, where are you from? And I said, ich dich verstehen. He said, ja, sie hat Deutsch gesprochen. And I said, oh, ich habe vergessen. I do, ich mag viel. Uh, I don't speak, speak much, I speak, uh, uh, Spanish, you know, and he said, "Where are you from?" I said, "Ich bin ein Kriegsgefangener." And he said, "And what are you?" I said, "Französisch." And he said, "Mhm." Mm and he and I told Michael, I said, "Don't answer any questions." And I said, "He said, what about your friend?" I said, "He's a dumb cop. He can't speak." So he spoke for a while to me, and then he turned to Michael and he said. And whereabouts do you come from in England? He said, Surrey. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we all burst out laughing. And so we, for the, for the privilege of that, we spent uh, two weeks in the Gestapo jail, which was an education. <laughs>